bonita la la Beleza que maulana Sote tuko sawa Mimi mwana ke Usiku nita la la Beleza que maulana Sote tuko sawa Hi guys How are you doing today? Hope you are doing hope you are doing well in the in the Lord. I'm Shiko Hope and this is our home of hope where we say in our Zekana it is possible. Yes, I told you the other day guys that I will be doing videos. This time round I'm not playing. Oh, I am not playing and you guys I know you are ready to like the video and also to watch this video because it will answer what your question you have been asking this question but today is the day that i will answer the question about child care okay yes so uh child care in the u.s child care in the u.s is not a joke it is something that is very very serious that has to be taken very very seriously uh because when you come to the u.s uh, this is not a place where when you come to the U.S. with young kids, this is not a place where we employ nannies. It is very, very hard for you to employ a nanny here in the U.S. Yes, you can employ, but you have to pay them according to the minimum wage, which you yourself is earning. <laughs> so, Mabaya Nani, that one is out. That one is out. You need to adhere to the laws, to the labor laws of the United States. And that one is out because you yourself you can't afford to pay that and then uh, you are like now how are we going to how are we going to manage or how you how do you guys manage over there I am a single mom I am a single dad or maybe I am married but I think I will not be able to to manage life and settling and and the, and the kids and I want to go back to school it's a lot i want to to work full uh two jobs full time it will be so hard for me to manage the kids i know that is you or maybe that is one of your friends who is in the u.s and you have been communicating and that is your predicament right yes so please let me uh answer you ah mutu anafanya tu tufugiwe kwa nini Anyway, <laughs> that is the that is the result of of driving of driving and you are an African and you are looking at the time. Hmm? Time is not on my side wherever I'm going. Okay, so back to today's video. Let's focus. Let's focus. Let's focus. So. You are like, how are you guys uh, managing over there? Shikohopi is here. Let me give you an example or let me give you my story. When I came to the US, uh, I was married. Don't ask me my marital status right now, please. We are talking about that time. We are talking about then. I was married. <laughs> I know this one. You look a lot of questions will come please don't don't ask me my marital status right now or at the moment we are talking about when we came as new people i was married so uh and i had three kids i had three kids tiny tiny babies because my first born was nine was nine was she nine yeah she was nine the second born was five the second one was five years and now the baby was two years he turned three when we were here we came here in january and on that march he turned three so these three kids of mine uh two of them were in school the nine year old was in fourth grade the five year old was in kinder now the three year old was at home he had not joined school and he was not to join anytime soon <laughs> i'm telling you he, he was not to join anytime soon because here they join school when they turn four and now he had just turned three and the school year here starts uh, at the end of 
of summer that is end august okay now you can imagine the others my nine-year-old then was in fourth grade and they were in the same school with the second born who was in kinder okay so the baby was to stay at home with either mama or dad right and let me tell you one thing those who are going to school they you are better actually i was willing if all of them are in school if all of them were in school that was the well, that was what i was willing for the day i would see the young one in school that's what i was willing for because in kenya they go to school they join school when they are three year old but now he has to wait until he turns four years old and because he will turn four he will turn four in march and the school year starts end august he will not start the school that much because school closes the school closes for summer holidays uh in may okay so he can't go join school in april he can't join school in march he will join school in august and august as the school year starts mm -hmm. but that is one year later after after turning four years let's go back to the ones who are in school where we were where we were living the apartments that we were living they didn't have a school bus ha <laughs> makosa because we were living so close to school uh if you live so close to school no school bus is provided so you have to arrange on how your kids will be going to school and from school yes and then uh it doesn't matter uh if you live close or near if they gonna walk they can walk but if they cross the road if where you live they have to cross the, the road i don't think your kids will be will be able to do that because of one thing they are very new kuvuka barabara waliona wapi so you have to arrange and work with their schedule no will be taking them to school and who will getting them from school and remember there is there the baby at home even if we were married <laughs> the baby was giving us a headache remember we are new and we need to we needed to work two jobs so that we could cater for the bills give our kids the best american life that we were yearning for when we were coming to america and also uh have enough yani have enough to settle to any us to settle down okay hey let me tell you it was not easy it wasn't easy at all at all at all kilituramba we had to 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 uh, to work with our schedules i was working two jobs one full time one part time the dad was working two jobs one full time one part time and we have a baby at home and we needed to go get the kids from school let me tell you we were like mad people we didn't have a car actually remember we didn't have a car no car by that time because we stayed here at um we stayed for four months before we could acquire a car four good months since we came in january and we got our car in june actually it is not four it is five months we, we got our car our first car in june so we had to we had to walk because when we were looking at the uber prices my god I could do Uber when I was going to pick them and it was raining. But any other time I was walking from March because we lived with our host for one month. We moved to our place in March. So from March, April and May I had to we had now to 
to to know what to do to go about getting the kids from school and going to work yes we are making money but uber takes like three quarter if you if you decide that you'll be ubering uber will drain your pockets dry uber will drain your pockets dry we couldn't get a car because we, we were waiting for our green card of course green card came before we moved from our host social security came even before we moved even the, before the green card arrived but we had to move to our apartment before even thinking about a car that was our priority our priority was to move fast to our own apartment and then things to do with car comes back later lakini let me tell you kili to ramba because someone has to be home with a baby and when we were living yes there there were people who are having young kids but you know you are new you don't know anybody that you can that you can plan on i will stay with i will babysit your kids and then you can babysit mine when i'm working i babysit your baby when you are working and when i'm at home so people can always do that but being new you know nobody you can do that and then that one most of the time it doesn't end well because one of you is playing some kind of a uh, hide and seek game for one another <laughs> someone will decide he has gotten a nanny who will be babysitting their kids and most of the time it doesn't end well until unless you have mutual agreement until unless you have mutual agreement so for us we were like working i i remember i i had worked all the shifts i worked early shift the first shift from 4 a.m and then i moved to mid shift i moved to closing shift i moved to night trying to figure out things because we are getting jobs and we have a baby the job pays are different now you want to go for the better paying job uh, and then where you work you need to sh to change the shift guy those way that those way the US can can understand what i'm telling you but if you are in Kenya you can try to imagine uh but you can't really get it but once you come here you will get it i'm telling you once you come here you will really get it so daycare was another option daycare was another option which we couldn't afford if at all we are not affording an uber eh daycare as you know daycares are very very expensive daycares are very expensive but because where we were we were uh, hey guy i remember when we went to ask for a daycare it was a montessori montessori school they were saying i think i registration of 300 uh monthly payment is 2000 guy you look at your pay stub and you're like this is the amount of money that i am getting how comes i i spend all my money in daycare no way <laughs> so that one was out that one was out hey let me tell you mine ili tukoroga kichwa that baby Koroga had asked the uh, asked our head until he became of age to join school to join pre-k mm -hmm. and when he joined pre-k now another now another headache started <laughs> listen to the headache when he came to when he joined pre-k now the headache was the pre-k was not full day pre-k was four hours a day they had morning class and afternoon class for for us where we were living because they they divide uh, using the the address he was assigned the afternoon class the afternoon class is from 11 <laughs> 11 to 3 11 to 3 now tell me you have to be home before he goes to school and then you take him to the bus for him he was given a bus because the school was a bit far 
So you have to take him to to the bus and then be there on time and then be there on time when they are released from school to pick him from the bus and that is four hours later by that time the others are now released from school so what are talking near home but he will be the first one to arrive because uh, he is dropped by the bus for us for the others you will have to walk to go get them or I'll tell them to start walking and then mpatane mahali <laughs> and then mpatane mahali mwede home I'm telling you I had to talk to my manager I had to talk to my manager and he was flexible with me and I thank God for that favor because it was not something obvious he could have rejected my uh, rejected my request but God is good he approved my request and I wa it worked it really worked it really worked I'm telling you so guys if you are a single mom even if you are a single mom or if you are a single dad eh? it will definitely work out but it is not easy it is not easy I'm telling you it is not easy you will manage but I have seen people I have seen people here uh, like single moms or maybe if you are in, you are a full-time student you want to go back to school full-time you, you you think you don't have time to go to work full-time maybe you work part-time and then you go to school so you don't have time to to spread with your kids I can go to school pick them up do this sometimes uh, a few people prefer taking the kids back to Kenya or back to Africa that's what some of them prefer but there are others who try to work through to work with their schedules hmm? you you do this most of them the ones that I know who are struggling with the kids daycare school kids blah 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 they work nights most of them work nights because if you work nights you will have time during the day to take to take care of your kids if you have like kids who are below school age they can stay with you throughout the day and then the school the school going kids they can come from school and they find you and you spend quality time with them because most of the night shifts starts from 9 10 uh some even start uh, from 8 it is you can talk to your manager and tell them let me come at 8 and then i leave at 5 in the morning so you leave them when they are sleeping and you come back home when they are still sleeping and you prepare them for school okay but that one is that one is an option or maybe you can work out with other people who are in your neighborhood and you plan on how to go about babysitting the babies you cost share cost sharing now the labor I, I look after your kids today tomorrow you look after mine and so on and so forth you you save the daycare the daycare money and also you you save your sanity because it is not easy it is not easy so taking care of the kids it is not easy even for you who are married you are still struggling i told you we were still struggling with my kids and i was married we were like helping one another here and there but it was still a it was still a, a, a hassle it was still a hassle being new having no car and the kids are here and have don't get to marry at all okay that only was that you have to you have to man up and woman up and bring up your kids because now taking them back to kenya it is another <laughs> it is another thing that many people are not willing to do okay do we were asking ourselves to go to naulizana shall we or can we do this can we take them back to kenya for three four months we settle a bit and then we go get them 
and then we were like oh they are needed to pay for the air air ticket and it is for three kids and the one who will take them and the, and the one that person will still come back so you are like watch to to kayanini to bambane na hali and we managed right now that is a thing of the past right now i have one that i uh I later get a, I I later got a baby but that one was planned I was like I know I will manage this one and I have been managing and very soon he's jo she's joining school so that is it it is manageable but it is not easy so if you are new here coming with kids whether married or single you will manage but it is not easy because one thing you can't afford a nanny even me right now i can't afford a nanny <laughs> hey guy right now i am the one who is employed as a nanny now mimi dm wajiriwa kama nanny because i can't afford to be employed as a nanny right now i'm the one who is a nanny yes yes and whenever i am nannying okay let, let that be another another video but whenever i'm learning i am i i am there and i know that these parents they are digging deeper from their pockets just to just to pay the nanny me the nanny because it is not cheap and being a nanny kwanza if you are educated you have that paper to show that you are an experienced nanny you earn good money now I'm talking on the other side of being a nanny. It is a good job. It is a good job. I nanny. Mimi na nanny. Mimi, I am a nanny. I am a child care provider. During the weekdays, I work in a daycare. My own daycare. During the weekends, I nanny. I nanny. Okay, let that be another video which I'll drop very soon. And you guys, you will see that there are so many massive, massive opportunities here in the USA. So, it is not easy, but it is manageable. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Shiko Hope, and this is Shiko Hope TV USA, where we give hope, we say in our Zekana. Even you, come with your kids. Itawezekana. Thank you so much for watching this video and please like the like the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed until our next video god bless you bye